Hello everyone, and in this next lecture, uh, I think this lecture will be just a little bit uh, relaxed than the later uh, tutorials, because uh, I think in the later tutorials uh, we learn about uh, most, uh, I think, important things, most uh, common use things in JavaScript. Uh, but uh, I mean for the beginners so we will learn a lot more which is also uh, the really important and we use it a lot but uh, I think this uh, lecture should be a little bit more relaxed so uh, just uh, today I will show you how to call function from or, or functions from another function and how to create an endless loop from uh, functions. So let's get started. I will just create a function called apple again and function called orange. We have uh, two functions and uh, here I will write document dot write some string here so I'm an apple function and here in the second I will write the same thing I'm an orange function and uh, now when you want to call I hope you already figured out uh, from uh, later videos how to do this but uh, just uh, you know it's good to mention I think so here we have two functions and I think we need to create another function uh, we will call it for example fruits and here we will call these two functions so apple one and orange one so now I think uh, you understand so now when we call this fruits function fruits function what we will do is fruits function will be called and JavaScript goes to the fruits function and then find that here is apple so call apple in the fruit function and then call orange function so it will it should uh, output this sentence and this sentence I will save it and refresh and here we have I'm an apple I'm an orange function so because you know we do this a lot also in uh, JavaScript this is uh, pretty handy and now uh, I wanted to show you something uh, funny maybe it's not that funny because I don't know what uh, it will do with my computer because endless loop is not good uh, for any computer <laughs> I think and now uh, we will or no we will just remove this thing and in this apple function after this I'm an apple function or I will remove this and just apple and here only orange word here and after this in this apple function we will call orange function and here we will call an apple function so just look at this and try to think about it uh, what it will do uh, basically here 
uh, we'll call this apple function so when this apple function will be called it will go it will write apple and then call this orange function so after this apple word it will write orange and then call an apple function so it will go up and start doing it all again so uh, basically we don't need to write or, or call this orange function again because it will do instead of us this apple function we can check it <laughs> and now as you can see it uh, did pretty weird thing here but if we will scroll to the right you can see this is endless loop for my computer and uh, now you see how it's uh, how it can be sometimes uh, pretty good fun so I will remove this and or go back with this so actually this functions are pretty easy I would say so enjoy it and uh, keep coding